everybody, my name is Maddie and today I'm going to be doing a review of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child which I saw in Melbourne, Australia a few days ago. So I was in Melbourne for two nights with my friend Abby and we went and saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on consecutive nights so on I think it was the Wednesday night and then the Thursday night. So we decided to go to Melbourne to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because it was the only city in Australia doing it. I'm from Sydney and I'm a really big Harry Potter fan and I needed to see it because I absolutely loved the book. I know there was some controversy around the book that it's like more not canon than what it is canon but I really enjoyed the book and I really wanted to see how they transformed it into the play because when I read it I was mind blown and all the stuff they said they were going to do on stage it just sounded so amazing so I ended up going to see it and let me just tell you I was not disappointed my expectations were exceeded completely and the cast was absolutely amazing. Before I watched the play I'd already read the book I think three times but on the plane I decided to read part one again right before so while I was watching the play I could remember what was happening but when I finished watching that I found out I wasn't laughing at the jokes as much because I already knew them like what was going on because I read the book straight away like right before I watched it so for the second part I decided not to read part two beforehand I enjoyed it so much more because I wasn't like used to the jokes I got to experience them right there in the theater and then I read part two on the plane home and it's just amazing because it's like reliving the whole experience when you're in the theater it, it was just the best ever and I'm currently on my second reread I'm in part two and every time I read it it's like I'm watching the play again like I hear all the characters speaking the accent that they used on stage and it's just so amazing so the play is way better than just reading the book because they just bring it to a whole new level because you're seeing it in front of your eyes and just how the actors portray the characters and what voices they use when saying the line it's just so perfect and it fits so well like I remember one line Ginny said it was like she was saying like about her son like not Albus or something and the actress I think her name's Lucy Gold Goldbury I think um, but she did like this drop in her voice when she was saying the line and it just made me like shivers go up my whole body because it was so good. She was just so amazing at it. I was in awe. It was just <laughs> so good. This is a 100% must see for Potterheads. And I reckon anyone that isn't a massive Harry Potter fan but just wants like a day out or loves magic, loves movies or anything like that, they would absolutely love this play because it's just an amazing experience. And I'd recommend everyone going. I can't really compare it to like London and New York because I haven't seen those plays but from what I saw the Australian cast is absolutely amazing. They pulled off all the magic so well and like you're surprised every time you watch it or read the book it just because I already knew what was happening before I went in but I was so surprised and when certain things happen in front of your eyes I can't spoil because keep the secrets but when certain things happen it's just, wow, you're just in awe and you get goosebumps and yeah. And when a part in the book happened, I cried, but I cried even more in the play because I was watching it with my own eyes. After the part two of the play, I waited outside after to meet the cast and I got this signed and I took photos with a lot of the cast that like went out and took photos with everyone. I met Lucy Goldby who plays Ginny Potter and I got her signature there and I also got a photo with her. I've got my photos up there by the way from the day. <laughs> I also met Guyton Grantley who played Ron Weasley. He did an absolutely amazing job. I laughed at all his jokes and he was just an amazing Ron and was so lucky. He's so much like Book Ron. He was just like the essence of the character was in him. It was so good. I also met George Henry. Um, and he signed the front. He played Albus Dumbledore and Amos Diggory. I also met Hamish Johnson, who played Dudley Dursley and Carl Jenkins. All these characters were super amazing. And they all like had their proper accents needed. And yeah, they were just really good. And everyone in the play did an amazing job at like transitioning between scenes. Like that was the, that was like one of my favorites. Every time like the capes were moving around, staircases were moving. It was just so good. Another person I met was William McKenna and he plays Scorpius Malfoy. And I got his signature and also a photo. I also met Sean Rees Weymers and he plays um, Albus Potter. And I got his signature here. So I met Gareth Reeves who plays Harry Potter and I got a photo and a signature with him. 
I also met Soren Jensen, which who played Hagrid and the Sorting Hat. He was so nice, and he, we were talking to him saying we had no idea how all the magic was like carried out because we were in awe of it. And he said, yep, he still has no idea how it's all done, <laughs> which we loved, and that he didn't even know, and he's in the play. I love it because it just shows how real the magic actually is. <laughs> And I also met David Symes, who plays Cedric Diggory, James Potter Jr. and Senior. Also Jessica Vickers, who plays Polly Chapman, and Tom Wren, who plays Jacob Malfoy. Everyone was so lovely, and they were so like open to take photos and sign things. But I do recommend if you go, go after part two, because that's when the majority of the cast come out. Some do come out after part one, but part two is when you should go. And also remember to bring Sharpies and like have your phones ready for photos. Make sure you tell them how much you love the play and how like amazing they were in it and like congrats to them and all that because they seriously deserve all the praise they received because they worked so hard for this and it's just like such a good play and so lucky to have witnessed it. So I feel like I should talk a bit about the characters. So Albus, like in the books, is a very um, troublesome son of Harry's. He's just a normal teenage boy basically and he has some trouble with his dad Harry. It was portrayed very well um, by the actors. And they're actually the sweetest people in real life. Like, I remember I told the guy that plays Albus um, how much he reminded me of who I pictured in the book, which is absolutely amazing. And he seemed really happy about that. And the guy that plays Scorpius Malfoy also, I told him how funny he was because he was absolutely amazing at bringing Scorpius to life. And I couldn't imagine anyone better. So lucky to have witnessed this cast because I feel like if anyone else is to do it, like, they would do it really well, but I don't, I don't think this cast could beat them at all. They were amazing. But yeah, the Sorting Hat was a very interesting character because I actually pictured, I didn't think it would be an actual person. I thought it would just be like McGonagall or someone putting the hat on the head of like another student. But there was an actual man, Soren Jensen, who played the Sorting Hat and he did a wonderful job of bringing like that character to life. And he had like all other roles. He had Hagrid as well. That was amazing. Um, and all the scenes where there was like flashbacks of little Harry, they were really well done. And they used a lot of the book lines rather than the movie lines. Which was really good and it was nice to see another take on what we've already seen in the movies. Yeah, every actor that needed a particular accent had it. And I was so happy when we <laughs> saw some of the characters. Because if you read the book, you will know that some characters that you don't expect to see in this particular story end up appearing and it's a very big surprise. And the twists and turns that happen throughout this whole play leave people on the edge of their seat and wanting more. I've now returned to Sydney and I really, really want to go back. I'm trying to convince my parents and my family to come because I know they will enjoy it so much. So hopefully I'll be back very soon. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep reading <laughs> the play because it's like watching it all over again and I absolutely love it. Oh and I'll say something about the merch there. So I brought this Harry Potter and the Cursed Child shirt with the wing on it. I bought it for I think it was $40 Australian dollars and I bought the tote bag there and I think that was $25 and I bought the program and this book for $25 also. They also have like wands, Scorpius and Albus and Harry and Hermione, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not sure how much they sell them for because I didn't get one. But they've also got like Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin merch and they've got Dark Mark merch. They've got like pins, shirts, tote bags and all that stuff. So the merch is really good. <laughs> I had to buy some because it's like my favourite play ever. Oh and after um, part one and two, you get these Keep the Secrets badges. They're really pretty and they're a great like souvenir to have after the play. I absolutely love them. And stay tuned for a vlog which will be coming soon of Melbourne. I also went to New Zealand before that. There will also be vlogs for that coming up soon. I say to edit all these, it's going to take a while but I'll get there. And I highly, highly recommend this play to anyone. You should read the books and you should 100% go watch this play. Even if you're in London or New York, go watch those ones. But the one in Melbourne was absolutely amazing. So lucky to have gone. And I really, really, really want to go again before it like ends or the actors change. But yeah, they're absolutely amazing. These are all the photos. I will have proper like photos on the screen in my vlog, which will be coming very shortly. I'll hopefully get it up in the next few days after I upload this. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below some videos you'd like me to make and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!